Kike Hernandez of the Dodgers back with us live on IT. All right, so you play infield, you play outfield, and now relief pitcher. You can add that to the resume. You threw in the 16th inning this week against Philadelphia, but I want to ask you about the hip thrusting windup. Where did that come from? Uh, yeah. You know, I've had that one for uh, for a few years in storage. So I've always said uh, <laughs> that if I ever get to pitch in a game, I got I got a special <laughs> windup, save hey, for a, hey, for a two strike situation. Kike, yeah? hold on. Tell those morons that we're live on TV and not to walk in front of the camera again. <laughs> hey guys, uh, excuse more. me. We're on, we're on live TV here. This is already nerve wracking enough. Uh, would you please? not get in front of the camera. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm sorry. This was Kevin and Chris. I promise I'm nicer than this. <laughs> Thank you. You may continue. Thanks. Thanks, guys. What were we talking about? Uh, you we were talking game. about your wind-up. Oh, yeah, yeah, my wind-up. Uh, yeah, so this is something that I've been having for like nine years. I've been working on it. Every BP, I do it at least once. Uh, I've always said that I'm saving it for two strikes, but I never envisioned myself pitching in a tied ball game, so I decided to, to <laughs> warm up with it. Uh, it's a little serious situation going on in the game, and uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, pitching did not go yeah. well. I'm in. No, I'm in. Now, I do want to get the clock on you. I think we had you about 60 miles an hour. Now, is this because you were trying to throw below hitting speed? Because I know you you got a host, or a machete, as we say in Spanish, as Spanish speakers like me and you. Uh, yeah, that's 60. That's six, it was 66 to be to be to be to be clear to be exact. Uh, but uh, it's my EFAS. But uh, I got to work on the spin rate because the spin rate was, it was I put too much spin on it. Yasmani couldn't even catch that pitch. But uh, yeah, uh, Doc told me please do not throw hard. Please don't get don't get hurt. Uh, uh -huh. Chase gave me a really really serious talk. Looked me in the eyes. I, I he's he looked into my soul and said. Do not get hurt. Do not throw hard. So I didn't. Uh, so I gave up a homer, and I mean it's Doc's fault. It's Chase's fault. I couldn't throw hard. What can I say? Yes, yes, I blame my Chase. Uh, I will tell you this: I never had the privilege of throwing, you know, in the big leagues and being a pitcher like you were. But I did have the privilege of checking out these three engagement photos that I want you to lead me through. One, who picked out the outfits and the stances, and the idea was amazing, Elente. KK. All right, so uh, as you may know, there's like seven of my teammates that got married last year. And, uh, you know, yep. looking at their engagement photo shoots, I, uh, I, I'm not comfortable with that. I, uh, I have a very hard time taking myself seriously. And uh, we, me and my fiance saw a movie called Masterminds. I don't know if you guys seen it. It's Zach Galifianakis, yep. Jason Sudeikis, and Zach Galifianakis and the girl from... Uh, <laughs> From Saturday Night Live, I, uh, I'm not gonna say her name because we're on, we're on live TV and my Spanish and my English get confused. So uh, yeah, they did that scene and I turn around and I said, hey, if you want to do an engagement photo shoot, that's the only one I'm doing because you know we can't do boring a boring save the date. That's the one I'm doing and shockingly enough, she said uh, she's good with it and I mean yeah, we Nailed went it. on. She uh, she she picked the outfit and sure enough, I uh, I picked the poses and the faces so. Yeah, it was a, it was a great great combination. By yes. the way, don't worry. We we can hear them practicing the national anthem in the background. Don't worry, we're not being yeah, rude. It's great talking through this. Okay, hold on. Yep. Okay, good. Um, Thank you. Nice. Will you ever wear that pair of overalls again? Uh, yeah. Uh, definitely taking it to my honeymoon and working on my tan. Uh, my thighs are a little bit pale about the color of my shirt, so uh, it'll be it'll be in full effect during the honeymoon. I would not wear a shirt under it, so uh, it'll mm -hmm. be a little bit of a, of a beach attire. Okay. Uh, we have seen you on this show and in the dugout dance. You are far and away the Dodgers' best dancer, but you worked some spray into a recent routine. I'm curious, mm. is that because somebody broke wind in there? Whoa, whoa, uh, no, whoa. that was sticky spray. We were playing oh. really bad, and it was all about the good vibes and everything. And we were in Miami, so uh, I got I got some uh, inspiration from the music and the Cleveland there out there. And you know, Yasiel yep. tried to steal a little bit of the spotlight, but sure enough, Yasi, you got some work to do.
Yeah. Yeah. Kike, I, since we talked about cutting wind, is there is there a guy on that team flight or that bus when you no. land, like, is pretty bad at cutting wind? Because there's always one guy on the team that will put, like, seven rows back. And you're like, God! Wow! Man. You know what I'm saying? Who's man. that guy? Before you, before you finish, there is no league. But, like, I know this is the big leagues, and you can throw out a tournament, like an NCAA <laughs> tournament or whatever you want to do. MLB playoffs, <laughs> football playoffs. <laughs> I got my man Clayton Kershaw against anybody. Oh. Best pitcher in baseball, <laughs> grossest farter in baseball. Not even close. This yes. is crazy. Uh, on our flight here, uh, Chase got really, really mad, and he said, "Hey, knock that off!" Yeah. Sure enough, Clayton got scared because the old guy talked, and he didn't do it again. But yeah, Clayton can can definitely kill a person with him. Oh. Oh, God. Okay, uh, I imagine there is a bracket there in the Dodgers clubhouse for going, going, pong challenge. Uh, you just mm. knocked off Cody Bellinger in a round. Up next is Yasiel Puig, and you look pretty good at doing this, uh, almost a seasoned vet. Are you worried about your matchup with Puig? Uh, probably not. I, uh, I didn't go to college. But uh, I spent a lot of years in the minors, and we we were in some college towns. So I worked a little bit on my ping pong, on my beer pong game, and right. uh, I don't think they have uh, cerveza pong in Cuba. So uh, I'm not worried about Puig at all. No, absolutely not.